but you got people of all races like coming together and and helping shape this from the ground up so now you got little white kids growing up with black idols and you got black kids growing up with white idols and you got it, it's just this whole mixing pot nothing has brought more races and more people from all different walks of life together than hip-hop no music has done that I don't think anything has done that as much as hip-hop has so in the same token I can understand the frustration being that you know damn near every form of, of music period was created by black people so you got Chuck Berry, you got Rosetta Tharp, and rock and roll is starting to get some attention, but then along comes Elvis. And people are acting like, oh my God, I've never seen this before. You've seen it before, but you might not have seen a white person do it to this level. So now, he sells the most records and people are calling him the king of rock and roll, right? But on the flip side of the coin, if I'm a black kid growing up in, let's say, the 60s, 70s, 80s, whatever, right? And I'm looking on TV and nobody looks like me and it's very stereotypical and I'm looking at fucking, I'm looking at toys and, the, and everything is white. The fucking action figures are all white. The, the fucking superheroes are all white. Like, maybe there's one or two uh, black superheroes mixed in there with mostly white. I don't know how I grow up and not have a chip on my shoulder. On the other flip side of that coin, we don't get to choose our parents, we don't get to choose what color we're born. It's more about, at that point it becomes you're born, here you are, you're what color you are, you're what nationality you are, and then it's what you do with it, right? To make a difference. To make a difference. To make a difference.